it's just for display purposes, I need to make it correct as of the end of the period. So what I'm going to do, instead of posting something to these items, I could either create another accounts receivable account that's an other current asset account that doesn't touch these items, or I could create another customer, which we did before, and make it our adjusting entry customer, and just put our adjusting entries into this area so that we don't mess the actual customer detail up, especially in a situation where you got this prepayment, which is a little bit more confusing. So let's do that. I'm going to go all the way to the right and record this out and the, the journal entry is going to be fairly straightforward it's just going to be for that 450 for those two customers that have the deposit that had not yet been invoiced out for because we haven't received the guitar yet we're going to be debiting the accounts receivable so i'm going to go up top accounts receivable needs to go up double clicking on it go to the end of it and plus scrolling down we're going to pick up that 450 so accounts receivable goes up to the 23,151, and then we're going to go down to the unearned revenue, and this equals, and we're going to then be picking up that 450, bringing it up to 450. So now for demonstration purposes or for present presentation purposes, this is done more more correctly. Instead of having a negative receivable inside of this receivable balance, we broke it out to a positive liability. So then if I enter this into a QuickBooks software, again, anytime I, I do something to accounts receivable, if you give this to, say, the accounting department, say, I need you to enter these adjusting entries, they're going to say, oh, no, you, you hit accounts receivable. I don't know what to do with that because I, it's going to mess up my subledgers. I don't want to enter that into my system. My system works fine. You know, I don't care if you had to do what you got to do to get the financial statements 